Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and welcome to third class of permutations and combinations, right? So in the second class, we're discussing about this point, we'll continue it. How many times digit 6 will appear at least once from 1 to 1000? We solved this question by two methods and answer was what? Answer was 271. 271 was the answer, okay? We solved by two, two methods, right? Now third and important method also we'll discuss here, method 3. How to solve it? Third method, right? Third method is C from any you take from suppose you take from 1 to 100 right let me discuss a concept here before then we'll discuss third method from 1 to 100 how many times digit 6 will appear you can see here like 6 16 26 36 46 56 then here i can write okay from uh, 62 69 then 71 sorry 76 then 86 then 96 right so see how many times digit 6 is appearing here? So 6, 6, 6, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 here and from 6 to, to 60 to 69 there are 10 numbers, right? So 9 plus 10, 19 numbers, right? So 19 numbers. In 19 numbers, digit 6 is appearing, okay? In 19 numbers, digit 6 is appearing in 19 numbers okay digit 6 is appearing how many times it is appearing so just one more time right because it contains here a 66 so double 6 is counted here right so a number so just one number is having two times 6 so 19 plus 1 20 times okay so in 19 numbers digit 6 is appearing how many times 20 times and this is true for this is true for true for other non zero other non zero single digits as well true for other non zero single digits as well right so how many times digit 5 will appear from 1 to 100 19 it will appear 20 times but in 19 numbers right so it will appear 20 times but in 19 numbers because 55 will be counted as one number and 55 will be will be counted as two times 5 will be counted as two times 5 okay so 19 numbers digit 6 is appearing 20 times right now this concept I can use this concept I can use here in this question okay how to use this concept in this question we'll see just observe this point okay so you can see here that from 1 to 1000 right so see except the cases of 600 okay except the cases of 600, 600 because it is digit 6 right so from 600 to 699 digit 6 will appear so many times right because every number contains a 6 but in every other number like 1 to 100 digit 6 is appearing in 19 numbers we discussed right 19 numbers from 1 from 101 to 200 it is occurring 19 numbers right so except this 100 this 100 600 to 699 in other 900 numbers right sorry in other 900 numbers in every 100 numbers it is occurring 19 times okay sorry 19 numbers so in every 100 numbers, in 19 numbers, digit 6 is appearing. So in 900 numbers, it will occur how many times? 19 into 9, two, sorry, 171. 19 into 9 is what? 171. Okay. 171. And plus this 100 numbers, right? Plus this 100 numbers. So 19 into 9. In each 100 number, digit 6 is appearing 19 in 19 numbers. So in other than these 100 numbers, from 600 to 699, in other 900 numbers, there are 9 sets of 100 numbers each. In every 100 number, 19 numbers, digit 6 will appear. Or any other digit will appear, right? So in 900 numbers, 19 into 9, 171. Plus, plus from 600 to 699, how many numbers? 100 numbers. So plus digit 6 will appear in this 100 numbers, right? So total how many numbers? 271. That is the answer, right? 271 is the answer. 271. In the previous method also, right? So all these three are three different concepts right which you should know huh? but method you can use is either method three you should you should use or method two you should use right both are taking almost same time right method one is a bit lengthier okay so method two or three you can use right your wish so this is very important points of discussion here we're discussing multiple concepts right very important multiple concepts we're discussing here about these questions okay so please note it down practice these questions okay very important questions we are discussing.
Now, next question we'll discuss. Eleventh one. So, in how many three-digit numbers digit eight will not appear at all? This is a question. Okay. So, in how many three-digit numbers digit eight will not appear at all? Right. So, digit eight will not appear at all. That means simply we can do three places. I can make here one, two, three, three places. Okay. Digit eight will not appear at all. That basically means what? At the last place, I don't want eight. So from zero to nine, I had ten options, but eight will not appear. Eight will not appear. So we'll have how many options now? We'll have nine options. For last place, we have nine options. Okay, we have nine options for last place. Now for second place, how many options? Again, eight. I don't want eight to appear at second place also. So again, from zero to nine, we had ten options. Again, eight is not there. So again, how many options? Nine options. Second place also we have nine options. Okay, and from uh, one to nine, from first place we had nine options. One to nine we had nine options, but because because it is about now three digit number, right? Not two digit and single digit, three digit number. So first place can't contain a zero. Okay, out of this nine numbers again eight will not appear. So how many numbers left? Eight numbers, right? So for first place eight options. So eight into nine into nine. What is the answer? Six forty-eight. So in how many three-digit numbers digit eight will not appear at all? What is the answer? Answer is six forty-eight. Okay. Okay. Now, all this variety of questions we we have discussed here. Now let's let's move to next variety now. So now a concept will come about in where count we are doing counting by multiplication, and we did some very good problems. We have some very good points in this, right? So now in this multiplication only the concept will come out come about factorial, right? Because factorial is also nothing but a multiplication only, right? It is multiplication only. Factorial. So see, this is a factorial, right? What is sign? This is a sign of factorial. We just they are discussion numbers. So factorial of any number is what? Like n factorial is what? One into two into three multiplied till n, or What is so? Should remember some value like, see one factor. Uh, start from zero factorial. See zero factorial is one. I'll explain you why it is one. Right, one factorial is one. One into one. Two factorial is two. One into two. Three factorial is six. Two into three is six. Four factorial is twenty-four. Five factorial is twenty-four into five seven twenty. Sorry, one twenty. One twenty. Six factorial is. One twenty into six seven twenty, seven factorial is seven twenty into seven fifty forty, and eight factorial is fifty forty into eight forty thousand three twenty. Should remember these many values right of factorial. Solve fast in permutation combination chapter. The problem should be solved fast. Try to remember these many values of factorial. Okay. Now again factorial basically means multiplication. So again same funda will come here right. So see when does factorial will come? Now suppose see the same point as my multiplication. Now there are three things here A, B, C. Okay, so there are three things here A, B, C. So in how many ways these three things can be arranged, right? So in how many ways can be shuffled, right? In how many ways A, B, C can be shuffled? So see, A, B, C can be shuffled. First place A, B, C can be written as A, C, B. Then B, C, A. Then C A B, then C B A, then you see how many times it is one one is missed here or arrangement right? You can write like this. Okay, B C A, then B A C, C B A, then C A B. See how many answers? See how many ways? Two plus two four plus two six. So there are six ways, right? So there are there are six ways of shuffling A B C. So this is directly done as It is shuffling of three things, right? In first place, we have three options A, B, C. Now, in second place, we have only two options because one is already fixed at first place, right? In third place, we have only one option because out of three, two are already fixed at first and second place, right? How many it is? It is six. So it is six, but it is nothing but three factorial. Okay. So it is basically what it is basically shuffling of very important, right? Shuffling of Three things, three things, at three places, at three places, is 
थ्री फैक्टोरियल राइट ओके इट इज थ्री फैक्टोरियल राइट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट थ्री फैक्टोरियल ओके नाउ सेम थिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट विल डिस्कस एंड विल नोट इट डाउन एज एज आई हैव रिटर्न मल्टीप्लीकेशन when you write shuffling of three things at three places as three factorial so you write abc shuffling directly as three factorial you should have you should have not noted this in mind that that when we do multiplication so in multifactorial inverse multiplication in n multiplication every possible shuffling every possible shuffling or combination right every possible shuffling is done is taken care of or is done Right. This means if A B C you write as three factorial, you be be sure that A B C all possible shuffling shuffling are done. A B C A C B B A C B C A C B A C A B. Right. Everything is done. Everything is done. Right. Similarly, similarly, you see, if you write it for suppose shuffling of A B C D four things at four places, it is what I should directly write it as four factorial twenty four. I should directly write that A B C D can be shuffled in four ways, so four factorial. As simple as this, right? Four factorial. Why? Because again, same thing. For first place, we have four options among A B C D. In second place, I have only three options because one is already fixed. Okay. In third place, we have two options because now two are already fixed. And in fourth place, we have only one option because three are already fixed. So four into three into two into one is twenty-four. What is twenty-four? Four factorial. Okay, the shuffling of four things at four places is four factorial. Therefore, shuffling of shuffling of n things at n places is equal to n factorial. Of course, n different things, right? So, right, shuffling of n different things at n places is what n factorial. Very important point, right? You got it. This factorial, right? And when you draw, when you write A B C D as four factorial, don't write all the combinations. When you write four factorial, that basically means every possible shuffling is taken done, every possible combination or every possible shuffling is done. So every possible combination or every possible shuffling of every possible shuffling of A B C D is done. I'm writing this point so many times because when you're solving tougher problems, you all always get this confusion, right? Okay, four factorial or four CR or NCR. We discuss NCR now, so don't mix it up, right? Be absolutely clear about each and every point. We have discussed the only first two rows of counting till now. That is multiplication, and factorial is a part of multiplication, right? So when you multiply, every possible shuffling is taken care of. This is the golden rule. Okay, now, now. Come to combinations. Come to combinations. I will combine all these two, all these concepts into some beautiful problems. Okay. Come to combinations. Okay. Now what is combination here? Combination is out of out of n different things, n different things. Mind mind this word different here. Out of n different things, if we if we select If we select R things at a time, if we select R things at a time, then then we can make N C R different groups. Then we can make N C R different groups, right? In all the different groups, obviously you should write. Order is not important. Order is not important. So very important definition of N C R. Out of n different things, if we select r things at a time, then we can make N C R different groups where order is not important. Right. That basically means that C. Now what is N C R? I'll tell you. What is N C R? Listen for very carefully for next ten minutes. What is N C R? N factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial. Right, and this is and this is a formula for finding N C R. Right, so see now, assume there are there are ten people in your class. Okay, there are ten people in your class. Right, so out of if you ask out of ten people, okay, out of ten people, how many? How many 
groups of how many groups of three people we can make okay so how many groups of three three people you can make uh, ten people right so suppose those ten people are named as a to a to a to j a to j okay so when i'm counting those three three people so it for one group will be like a b c okay other group will be like b c b c d other group will be like d d e f right so it you understand it is either a b c a b c or b c a or c a b or c b a anything right all are counted as only one all are counted as only one this is a super important point toughest of question can be solved by this point right all are counted as only one so that's why i've written order is not important we are selecting three people out of 10 people if three people are named a b and c so selecting those selecting those three people is only one one group group of a b c will be counted as one group right we are not shuffling here don't say three people so shuffling in three factorial six ways no we are not shuffling only combinations that is only selection we written earlier right what does combination means only selection so out of 10 people selecting any three people named a b and c they are named a b and c right so their selection that there is a b c will form only one group in this 10 in this uh, in this group a b c will be counted counted as only one a b c will be counted as only one right b a b a d will be counted as only one don't shuffle it right so order is not important either you don't either you choose a first b second or c third or a a second b first c third right that order don't take in combination only sim simply one group so when you're writing out of 10 people how many groups of three people we can make so what is the, what is the value here its value will be how much its value will be out of n people we can make if we select r thing at a time we can make nc are different groups so out of 10 people if we select three people at a time how many groups we can make we can make 10c3 different groups 10c3 different group what is 10c3 put in formula 10 factorial upon 7 factorial into 3 factorial right you can cancel it right what is 10 factorial it's like 10 into 9 into 8 till 1 multiplication right so you see this 7 factorial will be completely cancelled from 7 to 1 right so it is 10 into 9 into 8 by 6 okay so 10 into 9 into 8 by 6 you solve it is 120 that means out of 10 people if you are selecting if you are making groups of 3 3 people how many different groups we can make we can make 120 different groups 10 c3 means 120 different groups i can make okay this is a shortcut i was talking about right this is a shortcut for counting right you should be very happy to know this kind of shortcut if you don't know it till now okay out of 10 people how many groups of 3 3 people i can make 10 c3 that's it right that is 120 we can solve it also is there 20 people how many groups of 2 2 i can make 20 c2 but listen uh, listen carefully that out of if i'm making out of 20 people we are making groups of 2 2 so every group of 2 will be counted as only one don't shuffle it for a b and b a right in combination one group is counted as only one no shuffling right in ncr no shuffling no shuffling right so order is not important either a, if you select if you selecting two people a b or b a will be counted as one group so a and b will form one group in either either way you select a first you select b second Or select A second, B first. That doesn't matter. Group of A and B will be counted as only one group, not two groups, right? So very important point. Now, get this point now. So we'll discuss few examples here. Out of, out of, twenty people, how many groups of? How many groups of? Two people we can make. How many groups of two people? We can make. What is the answer? The answer is perfectly N C R. That is twenty C two. Twenty C two. Put in formula twenty C two. Twenty factorial upon twenty minus two. That is eighteen factorial into two factorial. Right. You can observe it now. In twenty factorial, this will get cancelled. Right. Twenty factorial by eighteen factorial. This will get cancelled. Twenty factorial by eighteen factorial. So eighteen into one. Till eighteen into one gets cancelled, right? Eighteen into seventeen till one. So what is left here is twenty into nineteen. 
What is what is two factorial two into one? What is the answer? Answer is one ninety. So twenty C two is what one ninety. Okay. Now very important next point. Very important next point. Yeah. Okay. So very important next point. Very important next point. Right. N C R is equal to N C N minus R. Now why so? Why so? It means that basically twenty C two is equal to twenty C. Twenty minus two is eighteen, right? So twenty C eighteen. Why? Now listen carefully, please. Twenty C two equal twenty C eighteen because suppose there are twenty people in your class, huh? And you are counting how many groups of two two people are there. So you know answer is what? Answer is one ninety for sure. Okay. So how many groups of how many groups of two two people are there? One ninety group. So every time you are counting that one two people group, okay. Another eighteen people groups are group are group is left aside. Okay, out of twenty people. Okay, out of twenty people, if you are counting that one two people group, another eighteen are left left aside. Right. You counted another two people, another eighteen are left aside. You counted another two people, another eighteen are left aside. Right. That means suppose you are counting. Okay, how many groups of two two people are there? Like one two three four till one ninety. Suppose. So your friend beside you is counting. Okay, how many people? How many eighteen people groups are there? Okay, suppose you are you are counting how many two two people group are there, and your friend is counting how many eighteen eighteen people group are there, right? So both answer will be same at the last, right? Both answer will be same at the last because answer is one ninety. Every time you select two people group, so two two people group are how much one ninety. Okay, so eighteen eighteen people group also 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 same. That is how much one ninety, right? So eighteen eighteen people group number of groups are also same one ninety. That's why every time you pick two people aside, eighteen are are left. So both is counted as one one group, right? If you similarly, if you see, if like ten C three is equal to what? Is equal to ten C ten minus three. That is ten C seven. That means out of ten people, whenever you are counting three people group, right? Another seven will be left. Another another three people, next seven will be left. So. As many three people groups, that many seven people group. Okay, that's why both are equal, right? Formula also says the same. Okay, formula also says the same. Like ten C three is equal to what? Ten C three is ten factorial upon three factorial into seven factorial. N C R is n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial. What is ten C seven? Or ten C seven? What is it? Ten factorial upon Seven factorial into three factorial, n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial. Right? See, both are same. So formula also formula also depicts the same thing logically, right? So we can say that therefore n c r is equal to n c n minus r. Right? Important point. Now calculating the value. See, now every combination here will have two values, right? Every n c r has got two values. Suppose if I say what is value of ten c four? So ten C four is equal to like ten C six. So for every combination, there exists two different R's, but their value will be same, na? For every N C R, there exists two different R's, like here four and six, but their value will be same, right? So ten C four is equal to ten C six. Okay. So what is the answer? Ten factorial upon four factorial into six factorial, right? Now see in exam, we have got less time, right? So again, we have to do some things mentally and don't have to write everything. We don't need to write everything, right? So calculating the value of n c r fast is also required, right? For example, if I'm trying to calculate what is the value of ten c four, so ten c four is what you know equal to ten c six, and directly you can, you can write because here six factorial six factorial will get cancelled. So what is left? Ten into nine into eight into seven divided by four factorial. That is four into three into two into one. So you should do it directly, right? So if you ask, if you are asked the value of ten C six, you every N C R for every N C R there will be two different R, right? So like ten C six is equal to ten C four, you see, ah, huh? and you choose the smaller R, okay? You choose the, you choose the smaller R, which is smaller R here, ten C four. So according to ten C four, directly write this step, ten C four from ten, go four steps back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, one, two, three, four. Four steps back. Divide by four factorial. That is four, three, two, one. Right? Four, three, two, one. Suppose here we are calculating the value of 
we are calculating the value of 10 C3. What is 10 C3 now in value? So we can write 10 C3 is equal to what? It is equal to 10 C7 first thing, right? So which is the smaller R? It depends on a smaller R, right? Which is smaller R? 10 C3 is a smaller R. So start from 10, go three steps back. 10 into 9 into 8, 1, 2, 3. Start from 10, go three steps back. 10, 9, 8. Divide by 3 factorial, that is 3 into 2 into 1. Okay, another one. 12 C9. What is, what is the value of 12 C9? So 12 C9 is equal to what? Is equal to 12 C3. First thing. NCR equal to NCN minus R. So 12 minus 9 is what? 3. So it depends on a smaller R. So it depends on your 3. This is a smaller R here, right? So start from 12, go 3 steps back. 12 into 11 into 10 divided by divided by 3 factorial that is 3 into 2 into 1. So do it in one step, right? Do it in one step. Get the value. Okay. You do cancellation here and get the value. Okay. So ex skip this step. Huh? I hope it is clear. This part is clear. Right. Now let's move to some very good problems. Se obviously sequentially, right? Sequentially, let's move to very good problems. We'll discuss the questions on combinations and we'll discuss on all the concepts here. Right. First question. In how many ways, in how many ways, letters of the word, letters of the word, letters of the word, bright can be arranged, bright can be arranged. What is the answer here? Simple answer. What is the answer? answer for this question is what bright so bright is a six letter word right that means shuffling of six letters at six places right so shuffling of six different letters arrange means what shuffling only bright is arranged right so b r i g h t its other shuffling will be r b i g h t then t h g r a r b like this all the shuffling of the words right so in how many six different letters to be shuffled at six places how many ways simply six factorial what is the answer? 720. So 720 is the answer for this question. Okay. Question 2. In how many ways? Now letters of the, let's write letters of the word sufficient. Same question. Now letters of the word sufficient can be arranged. Okay. Letters of the word sufficient can be arranged in how many ways? Same above question. Just the word is not sufficient, right? Now listen to concept here. The concept here is directly I can't write. I wrote here, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 letters here. So I wrote here letters of the word bright. There are 6 letters, so 6 factorial, right? So for 10 letters, that directly answer can't be 10 factorial. Why? Because here 10 letters are not different. Here 10 letters are not at all different, right? In this, F is repeating two times and I is repeating two times, right? So if you mind my words, I told you that shuffling of n different letters at n places is n, n factorial. That is n different letters. Here there's not n different, right? Here F and I are same. But so what to do in this case? See, when two letters are same, that means when two letters are same, right? So assume this word to be SU and let's say F1 and F2, right? So it was, it was F1 and F2. So in this case, these two letters are different. Okay, in this case, these two letters are different. But, and the other words being said, let, let the other word being same here. Right, sufficient. So if these two letters are different here, so in this case, now it will form different cases, right? Different cases, obviously. Let's say there are N cases, no issue. Total there are N cases of shuffling. But in this, if F1 and F2 are now same, in this case now, F1 and F2 are same. So what will change now? See what will change now? Similarly, separately I'll discuss for I also, right? We're discussing for I right now for F. So what will change now? So for every two case, because F1 and F2 at the other place will form two different words, right? Like F1 is at third place, F2 is at fourth place, right? It's another shuffling will be what? F2 at second, F2 at second, a third, and F1 at fourth. This shuffling, right? There's a different letter now. Okay. So now, but if F1 and F2 are same, if F1 and F2 are same, that means these two cases are same. It's same as sufficient. 
S double F I C I N D. You getting it, right? If F one and F two are same, so if F one and F two are different, F one F two and F two F one. Right? These these two are two different words. But if F one and F two are same, these two are same words. Similarly, similarly, F one can be at the first place. F two can be can be at the last in this in this shuffling. F one can be at the first place and F two can be at the last. It is one different word. And F two at beginning and F one at last. It is one different word. But if these two are same, so at the first and last both are F and F. So again, those two different words is same as one single word, right? That means every two case is counted as single, right? Every two case is counted as one case. That means that's why we don't write it as ten factorial. Simply write ten factorial divided by two. F is repeating two times divided by two, right? That is two factorial. Okay. Similarly, I is repeating two times. So again, divided by two factorial. Okay. So again, divided by two factorial. Same thing for I also, right? Because if two I's were different, let's say I one and I two. So I one at one place, I two at second place, and I two at this place and I one at this place. They are counted as two different words, right? But if I one and I two are same. So I and I at both the places are same, right? So those two cases will be counted as only one cases. Those two cases will be counted as only counted as only one case, right? That's why divided by again two factorial, right? So answer is what? So answer is ten factorial divided by two factorial into two factorial. This is the answer for this question. In how many ways letters of the word sufficient can be arranged? Ten factorial by two factorial into two factorial, right? Okay. Third question. In how many ways? Letters of the word. In how many ways letters of the word attitude can be so attitude is a word, right? In how many words letters of the word attitude can be arranged? So can be arranged means by that same thing, right? That can be shuffled. Okay, how many ways it can be shuffled? You see here again how many letters are here? A one two three four five six seven eight. So had there been eight different letters, so shuffling of at eight, eight different letters at eight places were directly eight factorial. But here it can't be eight factorial. Why it can't be eight factorial? Because because in this case, T is different, right? T T and T. These three T are same, right? Again, same thing, right? These T three are same. So A, let's say T one, T two, I, T three, U D E. So had there been three different T's. So if there are three different T's here, so it is eight different letters. Answer is what? Answer is eight factorial. But now see the shuffling of these three different T's can be in how many ways? So T one, T two, T three can be shuffled in how many ways? Three factorial, right? It can be shuffled in three factorial. That is six ways. That is like A, T two, T one, I, T three, U D E. Then again A, T three, then T two, then I, then T one, U D E. Like this, how many cases I can form? So T one, T two, T three are three different letters. They can be shuffled at three places in total six ways. In total six ways, right? So, but if all these three T's are same, so it is not three factorial or six ways. It is counted as it is counted as only one. It is counted as only one case because all three T's are same. So, if three T's were different, three T's can be arranged in six ways, right? Like a T one, T one, T two, T three, right? Then again T one. T three T two, then T two T three T one, then T three T two T one, then T three T one T two. Right, like this six cases I can form. But out of out of the six cases, if all three T's are same, only one I will count. Right, that means out of every six case, wherever like T one, suppose T one is at first place, T two is at his this place, T three is at this place. Right. So again, their shuffling will be in six ways, and if these three T are same, they will be counted as only one way. So every six case is counted as only one case. Right. That's why divided by six. That's why divided by six. That means eight factorial divided by three. What is six? This is three factorial. This is the answer. Eight factorial by three factorial. Fine. Okay. So let's discuss more questions in next video. Thank you.